Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. So in my last tutorial, I talked about the dirt shader and how to make this uh, kind of x-ray look. So I had a couple of comments saying I should have used the fall off shader and I had never used that one. So I explored it a bit and wanted to share what I came up with. So let's make a new material. This is an octane material, a diffuse one. And let's open up our node editor with this button here. Definitely start using the node editor in octane. It makes things a lot easier. All right, so we have our, our material here. And on our left side, we have all of our shader options. We have our dirt shader. We're going to drag that one in. We also have our fall off shader right underneath it. So let's demo these two so that we can kind of just see what the difference is. Let's drop this on our skull here. So in our dirt shader, we're going to kick up the strength a little bit and the detail also. So you can see that we're getting some really awesome effects here on this skull. It's a little bit more of an ambient occlusion type look. Um, sort of finding the crevices and shadowing them, but it's also making them kind of mottled and dirty. So this is a really great effect. Um, you can define the edges with this, but the way that it is kind of falling off is very noisy and dirty. And then we also have our fall off map. So let's pipe that in and instantly you can see that although it's defining the edges of your model, the fall off is very linear and smooth. So I'm going to show you how to do an x-ray, kind of one that you would see in a hospital. So we have our fall off map and we can play around with some of the values. The important ones are minimum and maximum. So if we play with these, it'll show where that fall off is happening. And then a really big one is this fall off skew factor. And this, you can think of this as a black to white gradient with the knots and you can pinch them or pull them just to show where that gradient lines up on your model. So something like that looks really good. And now literally all we have to do is take this fall off map and pipe it into our opacity. And if we do that and disable the diffuse, you can see that we have a really nice x-ray look. So you'll notice that there's kind of some coloring on this. Octane has kind of a color shift by default. So if we go into our camera imager and we turn that on, we can just turn the saturation down and now you're gonna get a nice black and white x-ray image. So just like that with the fall off map, really easy way to make an x-ray. All right, so if we wanted to add color to this, like in my previous tutorial, we're gonna throw in a gradient. And in that gradient, we're going to make one of these knots kind of an orange color. So the problem with this is, since we're in our opacity, oh yeah, we also have to remember to turn our saturation up. Um, because we're in our opacity, we're not gonna get all this color information. So if you wanted to add color, we need to actually pipe this up into our diffuse. And um, let's uncheck the opacity. So let's check out this image really quick. It looks like we have orange on the outside parts and it fades in so that in the middle you can see through it. So right now it looks like we need to invert our knots because white is on the outside right now. So let's right click and let's invert these. And then we can just play around till this is showing up where we want it to. And we'll probably have to go back to our fall off map and play with this fall off skew here. So something like that. All right, so now we have our color, but we also need our opacity so that we can see through it. So we're actually just gonna take this same fall off map and we're gonna pipe that also into our opacity. So now we have that fall off map driving a color into our diffuse and we also have it driving our opacity. So now if we had some objects inside of here, like that suitcase had guns inside, we would be able to see through on the inside part. So this is probably a much nicer way to do that effect. All right, so one last thing I wanted to share with you, let's delete this gradient and let's delete out of the diffuse. So just a really quick tip, when you're dealing with any kind of nodes in Octane, it's really helpful to uncheck every node except for the one you're working on and then pipe it into your diffuse to work on it. So for instance, in my opacity, if we play around with this, you can see it's taking a while to resolve because the opacity just takes a little bit longer to deal with. So if we put it into our diffuse, however, you can see that it's really fast and responsive. And it's really nice to dial in any of your effects in the diffuse channel and just dial them in perfectly how you want them. And then once you get them set the way that you want them, then put it into the opacity and relink up any other nodes you have. So just kind of a workflow tip for when dealing with nodes. It's a lot faster to work in your diffuse and on one at a time so you can see what's going on. So hopefully that tip helps you out. And also hopefully this will help you out with knowing the difference between your fall off map and your dirt shader, kind of when to use which one and what they do. Hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.